Hey guys, it's Billy44 here. I'm going to be telling you about the behind the scenes for September. Now, this has to deal with the new prayer potion, uh, bonus experience weekend, final classic reopening, and the ritual of Maharjaret. Maybe I said that right, maybe I said it wrong. They make up some words that are freaking crazy sometimes. But anyways, on to this prayer potion. For this actual prayer potion, you'll need 91 farming to grow the herb, and 94 herb lore to actually make the potion but this potion gives 1.25 experience boost like more than the super potion like that's a pretty big boost right there um so i'm saying and pl plus they also say something about like you can call upon the gods if you're in a time of need and they'll hear you they'll hear your calls or some st crazy shit like that or something um but yeah Onto the bonus experience weekend, Jagex reminds us that it's six hours that the full benefit of this can keep track of and, you know, all this and, like, you know, it starts on the 9th and, um, yeah, yeah, they also remind us that GE prices can go crazy sometimes if you want to stock up on some raw materials, like, you know, go fishing or, you know, whatever you do to get raw materials to where people will actually buy those, they encourage you to pretty much use this for what it's worth and, you know, make some money off of it if you're not really planning to do anything with it. Because a lot of people are planning on getting skills up. I'm personally planning on getting Slayer up. You know, I'm, I'm going through some Slayer tasks to try and get that best task, you know, uh, the Dark Beast task. I'd love that. And, uh, you know, pretty much do that for the first bit of experience. And then I'll probably just hit up Pyramid Plunder for the rest of it. So, yeah. And they do encourage, they don't, don't, they, they don't say this, but I would encourage everyone not to die during this double experience weekend because that was a big thing last double experience weekend. So just watch out for the death rate. Um... And yeah, there's also a few more things that y'all should know about Bonus Experience Weekend. And, uh, you know, one of those things is that throughout the whole weekend, summoning will be getting 1.1 times experience instead of the full multiplier amount because of how summoning works. You know, you get the charms over an amount of time and then, you know, you just train it straight up, you know, and that could gain like way too much experience way too much experience for summoning. Yeah, so that will stay at 1.1 multiplier, which is still good, you know, I mean, it's still more than what you would usually get. Um, you know, <clears throat> this is members only, and yeah, they make sure to tell us that this will not ruin the economy, and what they do, what they plan to do to stop merchanting clans from actually fucking up the price is too bad and uh yeah that's pretty much it um except for you will not be able to get bonus experience from activities like quest um penguins brimhaven agility arena tickets and uh like your penis horn stuff like that you won't be able to get bonus experience from and that's pretty much all for the bonus experience. <clears throat> now, for the final classic reopening. Now, this was kind of like, I was in the last one of it, and it was cool to check out classic, you know. Um, but I really don't play it at all right now. Um, I actually started in classic, so... You know, classic player right here, not on the same account, but you know, I actually started in classic and everything, and you know, they didn't change it at all, which was cool, you know. But it's just, it, I don't, I don't know why anybody would legitimately play it, you know. So they're actually just reopening the doors to classic. So cool stuff right there, I guess. Um, so pretty much what this means is that you can like sign up, you know, not right now, but when the actual update happens you can go to the classic page and in that video I'll make sure to leave a link because sometimes it's kind of hard to, to find so yeah but 
you can actually go sign up and then once you sign up and you get through all that stuff if you're a member you will be able to play classic whenever the fuck you want so that's pretty cool now the last thing on the list or well second to last thing on the list is the ritual of Maharajat hmm I'm saying that wrong but I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments because you know text sounds exactly how it looks um, but pretty much, you know, I'm not really going to go into depth with this update, you know, you'll be able to receive huge experience rewards and, you know, cool rewards for a quest that is probably going to have a great storyline, just like any other quest. Um, but the requirements to start this is you have to complete these quests, the temple at Sentisten, <laughs> speaking is not one of my fine points, uh, while Gothic sleep, while Gothic sleeps, Hazel Cult, Enraka's Lament, The Slug Menace, Fairy Tale Part 3, Battle at Orcs Rift, Rocking Out, and A Tale of Two Cats. Also, you'll need the levels of 76 Crafting, 77 Agility, and 76 Mining. So, yeah. And some more things that are actually on the list to come for the behind the scenes of September is the new loyalty rewards. So they'll be updating the rewards that you actually can get at the loyalty center of RuneScape for being a member subscriber for a while. So yeah, um, there's four new costumes, six new emotes, and three recolors, and 15 new auroras. So that's a lot. That's a lot of new stuff. So I'm in interested to see what they actually have in store for us. Uh, they list five, no wait, no, six things on the behind the scenes page, and the f oh, I'm going to go in order of them now. First palm, or fist, fist palm emote, so, you know, just a little knuckles emote. Uh, ghost emote, ninja disappear emote, which that sounds pretty cool. Um, inspiration Aurora raises your special attack bar when while dealing damage. It's pretty cool. Uh, vampirism Aurora life raises life points while dealing damage. Penis Aurora raises prayer points while taking damage. So that's you know it's, it's a it's a good good bit of new shit that they're coming out with for the loyalty program. But the last one that I wrote off the Penis Aurora raises prayer points while taking damage like. I just hope they kind of thought out like how that would work with soul split, you know, because I know some of the things, you know, they can slip through and just be like, ah, you know, and then they have to do like system updates 10 minutes after it's out. So it's just like, bleh. so hopefully they, they thought of, um, that. So yeah, pretty much, you know, that's it. And they remind us of this. 15% discount on three months of standard rate credit card memberships, which is just another way of, you know, getting us to pay money and stuff, which is cool, you know, I mean, we're going to buy a membership anyways, you know, <laughs> and it's cool that they give us a discount, in my opinion, you know, but it's just like, you know, like, it, it, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just... It's weird. Y'all know where I'm coming from. Y'all know exactly what I mean with that. So, you know. So, yeah, that's the behind the scenes. And I'll be making an update video whenever these updates actually happen. So, thanks for watching. And, you know, my knee was actually in this video. There it is. I do have legs. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I just feel like chilling out pretty much, you know, in this video. I just... I like to talk to y'all, like, like y'all are real, you know, so, yeah, thanks for watching the video, again, and, um, I'll be talking to y'all next update, like I've already said, so, push out, guys.